Do I feel like something is missing in my life? How many of us ask the question, Can there be more to life than this? Have I found my purpose? Even Freddie Mercury of Queen once sang, There must be more to life than this. Often, these questions may come up in the course of our day. Mother Teresa, Saint of Calcutta once said, Faith in action is love, and love in action is service. Wise words, but is service all that we are called by God to do? For those of us busy with lives outside of church, sometimes fitting God into a 24-hour day is much easier said than done. It is easy to rationalize that we are doing it for the right reasons, furthering our careers to ensure a good future for our families, acting in service of our communities, or providing livelihoods for others. Especially for those of us who spend a good part of our time serving the church, it can be easy to conclude that doing God's work is choosing the better part. And yet, why is it that we still have those thoughts nagging at us at the back of our minds. Scripture might give us some answers. A story from the Gospel of Luke illustrates this. Now, as they went on their way, he entered a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks, so she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There's need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. The formation and education ministry is built on this wonderful story of Martha and Mary. With this in mind, Friarside Chats, a series of conversations with the Santuario de San Antonio pastoral team, was born in the summer of 2020. Its goal? To raise awareness of Franciscan values and how priests and lay people alike can live these values in pursuit of our individual calling. Finding that point that integrates an authentic love of service and prayer. Moreover, the ministry also seeks to develop an understanding and appreciation of Franciscan spirituality as manifested in the work of the various organizations of the parish. As an example, by working closely with the worship ministry and supporting various activities during the liturgical seasons. We aspire to the vision of a Franciscan parish that demonstrates the values espoused by its founder, St. Francis of Assisi, and as exemplified by its patron saint, St. Anthony of Padua. And in doing so, feed the flame of God's love in the hearts of parishioners in our journey of conversion and transformation into the image of Christ. The writer Joanna Weaver says it perfectly, having a merry heart in a Martha world. The timing could not be better. Indeed, we are at a Franciscan moment in history. In the chaos of today's world, the voice of St. Francis of Assisi is clamoring to be heard. Let us all be channels of his peace.